when we understand Jesus in his own nature and not from all of the other extra writings about him, yeah. but when we begin with the Gospels or even the Gospel of Thomas, got a version here, if you guys ever want to check it out, you know, Gospel of Thomas, we could riff on that in a little bit, mm -hmm. which should have been in the Bible, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, so when you when you listen to Jesus first and allow his words to speak first before you listen to Paul's epistles or James, who they say is Jesus's brother, or you start with the idea of revelation that the world's coming to an end, or you start with the idea of some, you know, Jewish Messiah that's going to come and do all, like when you just listen to the master's words first and then filter everything from that. Mm. I think that we'll see a much more clear picture of what this master was intending for his students yeah. um, that would go even beyond the first century to today. And what that that is, is a deep realization of, of a few things. One is that, that you and the Father would be one. Uh, that's Jesus' pinnacle prayer in John 17. And that you would have a realization of what Jesus refers to as the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven. And Jesus says that the kingdom of God is within you. And so this kingdom is a rule or reign of divinity. And so there seems to be a dimension of reality that is here available, always eternal now that you can step into, become aware of, shift consciousness into to kingdom consciousness. That's not of this world. Jesus says, my kingdom is not of this world that is a different plane or frequency of being that enables all sorts of cool metaphysical things in Jesus ways, or just a different posture of heart of living in union and flow with the Tao with God, um, that he is giving that as a gift to people that there is an option to live in an alternative way to what we've been handed in this in of reality. And so I'd say like, seeing that being the core fundamental of Jesus' message um, radically changes the, the evangelical mainstream, mainline, charismatic Christian church idea, you know? And so that's really kind of the the summary of what I want to do to help people see is that the kingdom is a, is available for a consciousness to live into. 